for those of you listening on the radio, we're doing stuff. <laughs> Important thing. You have no idea how much stuff there is to do <laughs> before you can sing a song. <laughs> Let's ask some questions from Come Gather Around Us. You guys are, we're both on mega record labels, major, major record labels, in a sense. And you guys walked away from it, uh, which I think is, is incredibly fascinating because this is, you have the sort of cred that people, uh, in fact, you conceal the sort of cred that people will lie about and exaggerate in the music <laughs> world. And you guys, you're like, no, I don't want to talk about it. No, it's just a thing that we did. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I want to ask you, um, you went from that into playing living rooms. What is it that appeals to you about playing to people face to face that that's more interesting than being a part of, you know, the biggest music machine on earth? Um, well, first of all, I think the reason that we concealed the, or don't, or don't make a big deal out of the fact that we were signed to major labels is because it is actually meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that because other people don't know that, you kind of you kind of protect them from that by not mentioning it. So you, can re so you can relate to them on a level which actually makes some sense because the music industry is, you know, it's just not all it's cracked up to be, basically, you know. And I think anyone who's actually been in the body of it and seen how kind of, like, how significantly empty it is as a process for making art tends to just basically not value it that highly. You know, unless you're doing it as an attempt to become, like, great in some sort of very egotistical kind of miss, you know bad way i guess then you might value it and go like oh yes well we were signed to this and that but i think genuinely anyone who's got like an artistic spirit realizes that it's just an embarrassment to admit that you were on <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about it kathy i'd like to address a different part of the question <laughs> i think what appealed to me about playing to you know directly to people in their houses was that it was like a it was like a direct action thing. There's so much, uh, when you're signed to a major label, it's like being part of a big company or something. It's like there are loads of people involved in all the decision making. And um, it is was really cool to be able to just, um, MySpace people, it was at the time, you know, now it's Facebooking or just emailing, you know, people and saying, hey, can we come and play in your living room? And, uh, and, and, and similarly, when you're playing that close to people, it's very, easy to know whether your music is reaching them or not, yeah. <laughs> whether you're doing it right or not. So that's sort of like, I, I personally, um, I feel like I kind of um, got the hang of uh, stagecraft way more by playing in houses than I did on stage, really. Take me home, tell me where. Take me home 
Tell